Okay, so I'm here to show you a little bit how the Seton Infinity Tuner works with Windows Media Center. So I do have a Harmony One remote that's programmed to the computer. Basically I got a Windows Media Center remote that came with a USB IR sensor, plugged that into the computer and then programmed my Harmony the Windows Media Center remote to my Harmony One remote. So I'm just going to hit a button and it starts uh, up Windows Media Center and it'll start right here at the recorded TV. So if you select recorded TV you can go and see what shows you've recorded. You can sort them by the date, title, air date, or which ones you have shared with other computers in your network. So basically you can just scroll over, select one of these. We can manage it here. We can delete it. We can restart it or we can resume it to where we left off last time. Usually you see the little uh, little circle right there it's thinking usually when you start at Windows Media Center that comes on for about five seconds or so to update everything so if we go in here and uh, hit restart it takes it a second and it's going to start playing the movie I recorded and it's pretty easy if you hit the I program my remote to where if you hit the skip track it'll skip through 30 seconds so you can rewind you can fast forward and rewind that way or you can just hold down the button like a regular remote so this is a movie I recorded on cable this is an HD Actually, it's not an HD because it's full screen. But anyways, if I go back, we're going to take a look at the guide. So if we go over here to the TV guide, the TV guide works very well. It's very quick compared to a lot of the other boxes you get from your cable or satellite company. As you can see, I can scroll up and down just by hitting a button, or I can do uh, page up, page down, and it goes really quick. Also, if I want to scroll ahead and look through uh, you know, later times or later dates, just hold over and you can see how fast it scrolls. There's no lagging time and yeah, I'm already to Sunday. So um, if I want to watch a channel, of course, I'll go, let me go back to the beginning. Uh, scroll down. I don't have a lot of channels because I have basic cable right now, but if I wanted to watch, let's say, this channel. Takes a couple seconds to load. And then bam, our channel's up. So this is an HD, so the picture looks really good. So just like any other DVR, we can pause, you can play. If you've been watching it for a while, you can rewind it if you want to. So that's pretty much how the cable works. If we go, I have a lot of movies that I've, that I've shared on here. If we go to the movie section, you can, of course, watch Netflix, set up your Netflix account, watch movies through there. Um, in your movie library, I have a couple, I have a terabyte hard drive and then an extra two terabyte hard drive that holds all the movies. So if we click on this, uh, luckily it gives us the cover art for all the movies I have on my computer. Now there's a program you have to have, well, that makes it a lot easier. It's called Media Center Master. If you download that program, it'll automatically go online, find all the movies, and update the cover art and folders and everything for you. Another thing it does, too, like if I go and select av Avatar right here, on some of the movies that have the information, see, it will give you synopsis down here. And even some movies, let me see if I can find one. Uh, synopsis a little bit longer on this one, so you can scroll down and read that. Some of the movies do have, see if I can find one, it's kind of neat. It's got similar movies right here. If I select Beer Fest, it gives me similar movies. It says uh, Dodgeball. That's coming on Tuesday, January 8th at 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and that comes on Spike TV. So if I like if I like dodgeball, I could have select that and I can record the dodgeball movie that's coming on uh, next week. So that's a pr pretty neat feature in the in the movie gallery. So you can scroll it's pretty quick. You can hold it down, push it over, scroll through all your movies. We go uh, find a movie we like, just hit play. Just takes a second to load and bam, it's up and running. So pretty quick there. A couple other neat features that we have. Um, Let's go to, this does have four tuners inside of it, so you can record four stations at a time, so I'll just show you that. I can just hit record the record button on my remote to record that channel. I can record another one right there, record that one too, record that one. So right now I'm recording four different stations. If I go ahead and try and hit another one, it should give me some kind of error message, yeah. So it says if you want to record this one, you need to cancel one of your other ones. So it's pretty neat and record four channels at a time. If you want, I have a lot of um, shows that are recorded 
if I go to let's see where it is go to view scheduled up here shows me all the, all the shows that I have scheduled to record uh, it's, it's just saying I have no signal on one of those stations because I don't subscribe to it but if I want if I want to I can scroll through here and here's all the uh, here's my regular shows I have recorded and a couple movies I have recorded in the future so it's pretty easy uh, you know I'm, I'm just going through let me go back to the guide and stop recording those movies or those shows that I was recording so I just go through and cancel some of these whoops Uh, I do not want to watch that channel. Well, I'll delete those anyway. I'll delete those later. Um, also, we can go to Netflix. Netflix works very well too. Log once you set it up, log into your account. You have your instant queue, your DVD queue, recently watched. It has some suggestions. Of course, you can browse by categories, and it does have a search feature up here if you want to search for particular movies. So I'm going to exit this and there's also pictures and video section. I have some TV state to some TV shows that I don't have listed under my movie section because they're not movies. So I have, I don't remember if I added them or not, but you can go in here if you have TV shows or something like that. You can go add them in the video section and view them from there. Couple neat features if you go into the movie guide it will show you everything that's on now. It searches through the cable stations and tells you everything that's on. So it looks like Fast Five is on uh, channel 350. So I don't subscribe to that channel. You, you do have an option to go through and do an automatic select on the channels that receive a signal. A lot of these movies, if I go and select these movies, it's not going to play them because I don't subscribe to those channels. So that's a neat way to look at movies that are coming on now or later. Uh, a lot of features in the sports section too. If you want to go and uh, find out what's on right now, you can search by sport through here, see what's playing there. Or a really good way to do it is if you go over here to scores, you have your different sports up here. Like if we want to go to NCAA football right here, it'll show us all the scores right here. These are all final scores. There are not any games going on right now, but if there was a game going on, you could select that and then hit play and it will automatically tune to that station so another neat thing if you do fantasy football I don't but it's a new feature it's a pretty neat feature you can go in here up to uh, add players and you can you know add any players you want and it'll list them down here on your fantasy football league and you see it's got different sections you got quarterbacks running backs so it'll list that person right there with all their stats and scores and everything to help you track your fantasy football league which is neat then uh, of course you have the uh, I do have an extender set up, set up if you want to add an extender like an Xbox 360 it'll extend all the features of Windows Media Center to another device so if you're using the Xbox in another room as long as you're sharing your movies and everything you can watch movies from that Xbox watch anything you've recorded and also watch TV even though the Xbox doesn't have a tuner in it. So that's the basics of Windows Media Center. It's got a lot of neat features. One of the things I'd suggest getting is Media Center Master. It's a program that allow, it downloads a lot of the metadata from imdb.com, which is the movie database. So it'll update your folders and your cover art and your cast and crew, that kind of thing, your synopsis. So you can view all that in your movie section. Also, there is a uh, couple other programs. One of them is, um, I don't remember what it's called, but it'll allow you to kind of customize your media center. So this is a, the standard blue black background right here. You are able to change the background, change the text and font, that kind of thing. So that is Windows Media Center. It's running, I have a home theater PC I built with a AMD dual core processor that does the job. I probably should have got a little bit bigger processor, but the dual core seems to be working fine. I, I think you pretty much have to have an upgraded video card. You can't use the onboard graphics. I had a lot of issues with watching some HD channels with my 
graph with my built-in graphics card. So I got an NVIDIA GT650 graphics card, about a hundred bucks, and that seems to be working very well. And uh, I have a, I do have Windows 7 that's running on a solid state drive, and then I have a two terabyte and one terabyte hard drive that's in, inside the computer where I hold all my movies and shows and everything. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.